So in this case, we've gone through our tango. We've run out of all our different elements here. Here's our before, after in terms of this. And um, vignette is found in several places. Probably the most um, easiest place to get to, especially if you've cropped your file, is under the effects panel, under grain, and it's known as post crop vignette. Now there are three out of the five vignettes I mentioned are here. Highlight, color, and paint overlay. Paint overlay used to be the only one in Adobe Camera Raw, and it was inherently evil. Bad, yucky, awful, just gray paint, opaque, bad. And rightfully so, vignettes got a bad reputation. These two ones, highlight priority and color priority, are actually quite good. The color priority is the more subtle out of these two, so it is my default one, not the highlight priority. It's trying to maintain the integrity of either the highlight or the color. I like color because it's more subtle when it relates to the colors. And it still has what's known as a highlight slider. So you'll see this in a second. I still have the ability to work with highlights even though I'm on color priority. How does this work? You basically, if I'm gonna, I wanna darken up the sky, I wanna draw the eye into the center of the scene, I'm gonna take it down and we're gonna, I'll exaggerate it for teaching purposes. I'm gonna take it down. Your midpoint, if I take that up, it's gonna to go to the corner. If I take it down, it's gonna come way into the file. So again, the default is right there in the center. And let's actually, we'll take that amount, this amount down so you can see what we're doing here. So I'll take this down. And then I'll take this roundness. Now the roundness down, meaning it's gonna become kind of a frame. It will no longer be oval. It will follow the contours. If I take this up, it will become more a perfect circle, not even following the parameters in terms of an oval. Um, and you may already be seeing that this is how you can do some simple framing effects. When you're doing an antique effect, it's actually nice because in the olden days, a framing effect was actually done by putting a little teeny you know, um, holder around the paper as it was being developed so that the hand could touch it. And they were these somewhat soft edge, which takes us to our next parameter, which is feather. So a slightly feathered edge can actually do a very nice little framing effect, especially if you're imitating an antique, either black or white, because you can use uh, either go up or down. Okay. And so we'll go back to our dark one there, so feather. And let's go ahead to a more normal one. So we'll set our midpoint. By the way, double-clicking on any slider within Adobe Camera Raw automatically resets it back to its default setting. So double-clicking on any one of these settings will automatically reset it back to its default. Okay? And oftentimes what I would do in this case is I will bring in a little bit, I will add the feather up to make it even more subtle. And then the highlight slider is a protector slider, meaning the, another negative side effect that vignettes have is if you have a highlight, like a cloud or a person's shoulder coming off the edge of the scene, that um, vignette can look unnatural. Uh, in other words, it's making muddy the clouds. So by coming up here and moving this highlight slider, it's not gonna be affecting the highlights. So if, again, let me take that down just for teaching purposes. And you can see down here, it's affecting the clouds. As I move this up, the clouds are not being affected. It's a much more natural uh, vignette in the sense it's the dodging and burning of the midtones, leaving the highlights protected. So think of that as a protecting slider. Okay. So there is a vignette. And now the preview will just be for that vignette. And you can see how it's kind of drawing the eye into the center of the composition.